Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I am making the first response video ever for this channel. I've made a lot of response videos on my other main channel, which is my first YouTube channel called Sunfruit Dan. If you haven't seen that channel before, this is mostly focused upon healing and detoxification. I put a link for it up above. And yes, yeah, someone I've kept making response videos to on that channel is this vegetable police. It's got almost 70,000 subscribers. I know him personally. And recently, if you didn't know and you don't know him, he switched from a vegan diet after being on it for 10 years to a beef carnivorous diet. And I've talked about that in many other different response videos on the other channel. So if you haven't seen them and you're interested in them, go and check them out. But the reason why I'm making this video for this channel is because he's talking about, as you can see in this latest video, vegan YouTube for the animals or the vanity. So it is more suitable for me to make the video for this channel because this channel is focused on veganism and plant-based nutrition for giving you the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels. And I'm very focused upon fitness in general and calisthenics. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is watch this video with you and pause intermittently throughout the video when I feel it's necessary for me to respond. So I hope you enjoy this type of video that I've never made on this channel before. So we're on the carnivore cleanse. We're doing a beef cleanse and I'm doing it to heal the gut. And you'd think, oh, meat, that's just gonna clog your colon, colon cancer out the yin yang. And it's like all pain gone in the first day. It's like not entirely, there was some struggles, some serious struggles if you watched my 30 day video, you'll see all about it. So I'm doing this for the gut healing benefits and everything else is falling into line. Things so yeah, if you're someone that doesn't know vegetable police, yeah, you run into loads of different health issues and symptoms. I believe, as I said in my other response videos on my other channel, Sunfruit Dan, it's due to severe nutritional deficiencies, which I ran into on a vegan diet and then I corrected through high doses of specific supplements in isolated form. And yeah, what he said in his other video before, he has vomited multiple times from eating this diet and he's had a lot of other issues as well, which for me, it doesn't really sound that, yeah, he's feeling better, but it also sounds there's some things in the food that is not necessarily ideal for him and his body is going, get this out of me. But that's just my own personal opinion that may not be complete truth. Things that I didn't even know were wrong with me are clearing up. Just certain pains here and there just disappearing my nose. <laughs> I can breathe through my nose. I was like, oh, that was really clogged up before. My skin's clearing up. And one benefit, oh my God, I am so noticeably stronger, it's embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing. I'm breaking my records. It's like, what was I even doing? So yeah, it sounds like what was happening on the vegan diet for him, his testosterone levels weren't optimal neither was his dopamine levels which is a neurotransmitter and when these things are low you're not going to be as strong as possible you're not going to have optimal stamina and endurance and it's going to affect your fitness level and your performance in a negative way and for me on a vegan diet it's just helped me recover as quickly as possible after training and i'm always breaking my personal best on a regular basis because i take specific supplements such as boron and all these other different nutrients in high doses that have been shown through scientific research to optimize testosterone and dopamine production. And this is an issue that a lot of people run into on a vegan diet with having those two things very, very low. And that's something that I run into an issue before on a vegan diet. And they resolved it through the things I've mentioned and other various supplements as well. Before, But the thing I'm noticing the most Yes, I'm stronger, much stronger. My body composition, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Hey, little buddy. You're raw meat. You're raw meat. My body composition just looks so much better. Less body fat, more muscle, just flat stomach, healthy. Like, I feel like I look healthy. Like, I'm proud of myself. So yeah, again, that is a massive sign that he's getting certain nutrients in the food that he's eating that he wasn't necessarily getting through the supplements or the vegan foods that he's eating. So now his testosterone levels are going up and his estrogen levels go down at the same time. And when you do both of those things, it reduces water retention, 
it reduces your body fat percentage even more and maximizes your muscle growth as well. So it's gonna look like you do have bigger muscles because you do and you're gonna be well, much more defined and visible as well. But I don't feel the need to show it off as much as I did as I was a vegan. That's what today's video is all about. Why vegans feel the need to build up this huge muscle mass and show off. We'll talk about it. So yeah, that makes me laugh what you just said because it seems that he thinks that a lot of vegans are just doing it for the vanity and since not being a vegan anymore and being on a carnivorous diet, he doesn't need to show off his body whatsoever. So yeah, is he right? Are people like me that are vegans just trying to be really, really vain and yeah, they're just doing it to show off their body? What do you think? Let me know down below. This video is all about why vegans feel the need to build up this huge muscle mass and show off. We'll talk about it. You're all you ever had to be. You're all you ever had to be. Take control of your life. You can't be mad at me. So I can only speak from my own damn monkey mind. So take this all with a grain of salt. These are just observations I noticed in my own mind when it came to vegan bodybuilding, if that's what you could call what I do. So I have no idea what motivates other people. I don't know why John Venus works out to get so big. He's man huge. Just be boy strong. That's enough. So these are just my observations, but so yeah, he just said, just be boy strong, that's enough. So he's actually projecting his own opinions on other people just because he feels that doesn't mean that other people will. And everyone has different goals for different reasons and that's completely fine. And yeah, they're definitely not doing it just for vanity whatsoever, at least from what I'm aware of and from my own personal experience as well. When I started working out as a vegan, I felt this need to get this physique to prove that it could be done. You could build muscle on veganism. And I just, it was this pull. I became obsessed with my body. And this has nothing to do with veganism necessarily because all bodybuilders kind of get this self-obsessed look. It's like, okay, chest needs to be a little bit bigger. Arms are really small. I've got T-Rex arms. But it feels like it's a little worse in vegan land because it's like you have the the weight of all the animals in the world on your shoulders. And what I say from me and my own personal experience, I do not feel that I have to prove to anyone that you can build muscle on a vegan diet. The reason why I did it is because I wanted a different look for my body. I was completely happy with my body, but I wanted to change it and I wanted all round strength and just the body that I dreamed of because yeah, it's like certain people get certain haircuts, they get certain tattoos, they wear makeup, whatever they're into and stuff because yeah, our body can be our canvas or our art piece and we can mold it into the way that we personally desire. And yet a byproduct of me having the body that I do and having really well-defined all round muscles is that I draw a lot of different people to me because most people care more about physique than health out there so by drawing people in then i can teach them things such as intermittent fasting detoxification methods living the life of their dreams i can inspire them motivate them teach them about veganism so many different things so it's not just me focused upon trying to draw people in for veganism whatsoever it's about teaching them all of the different things that i have to and showing people that you can get the body if you desire to and teach them how to as well because many people want to know how to you're like we have to save the animals if only more men see that you can be big and strong they'll go vegan and it's this obsession it's a good hearted way to be there's nothing wrong with it it's just now that i'm out of it for now at least I may return to the land of happiness, but I just, I notice it now, partly because I don't want to brag. I don't want to brag that I can build this physique by killing animals. Because mosquitoes want to kill me. It doesn't feel quite as noble, I will admit that. It was kind of fun building the muscle on vegan because it's like, it's so hard to do. It is harder. It's harder to digest. If you got any gut issues, it's like breaking down that protein is a bit of a nightmare. So I was building muscle, but at the expense of my gut. 
And what I'd have to say for me is because I optimised my digestion and healed my ulcerative colitis and all the other gut issues and health issues that I had going on, have no issues with breaking down those plant foods and those protein plant-based foods as well. So yeah, he was just having some underlying root issues that had not been resolved. So then the plant foods were affecting the negative way and he's saying that it's sort of the plant's food when it wasn't the plant's food whatsoever. And I'm just noticing it now that the muscle's coming on faster, quicker, and speedier. Partly, I think it's just the creatine in meat is now filling up my muscles, but I'm just, I'm noticeably stronger. I was taking creatine on the vegan thing, but that was wrecking my gut. And yeah, it could be due to the creatine, but it's also due to the meat being higher in zinc and other nutrients that are lower in plant-based foods, which, like I mentioned earlier, are going to increase your testosterone levels and drop your estrogen levels, which is going to help you just gain the results that you have just mentioned. But it can also be done on a plant-based vegan diet if you really know what you're doing, like myself, that someone is a health expert and coach that's helped many people optimize their health mentally and physically on a vegan diet short term and long term so i feel stronger my body looks better but i don't feel the need to show off it's something changed in my mindset do you agree or am i just imagining things because it's just weird like i was watching a simnet video the other day and i love simnet he's just such a happy canadian guy same and he's just so nice I hate that he didn't even leave a comment on the video I made about him. Can't even watch the video. Somebody went to, saw him at a meetup and they're like, oh, what'd you think of Vegetable Police's video? And he's like, oh, I didn't watch it. I think he's afraid to see anybody talk about him. I know it's, I know the feeling, because. Well, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. That may be the truth, it may not, but again, it's his opinion. And for me, I'm just so busy in my everyday life that if someone has made a video on me, I don't really have time for it because I've just got more other important things to focus upon. And I'm someone that loves to make myself go in situations where I feel uncomfortable because that is where there is the most room for me to grow and evolve to become a better version of myself and let certain emotions come up in me due to certain things that people might say about me and reflect upon them and learn about myself and work on them. And yeah, just have these beneficial experiences that make me feel uncomfortable because a life without challenge is a life without growth. And I am on the fast track to growing in the best ways that I possibly can to live the most happiest, fulfilling life that I possibly can and be the best version of myself. People are starting to make videos about me now and it's just so weird to see people talking about you and then you go read the comments and everybody's psychoanalyzing your whole life and it's like what the fuck did i get myself into yeah and i've had this happen last year i had a tragic accident happen where my girlfriend passed away in an accident we had and i had myself in the newspapers all across the uk where i was born and i had people just like hating on me on my videos and my facebook page of interest when i had to shut down so i'm very aware of what it can be like but for me, I'm like, bring it on, send them my way. Because again, every experience is not a positive or negative experience, it just is. And it's always, for me, with the mindset that I have and how I look upon things, it's a beneficial growing experience for me. So I don't fear them. Just give me what you've got because it will just make me become stronger and stronger. And I don't mean within my body, I mean within my mind and my emotional body. So I get it. But you could have left a comment just it was all positive stuff dickhead but i was watching a video of his the other day and he's going to this meetup for a photo shoot he was so worried about his physique and i don't know i was thinking take a look in the mirror man you're a thunderhawk wolf your body is way more aesthetic than john venus and the other bulk muffins out there you look amazing and you had a stomach bug for like two weeks and lost all this weight, you looked even better. Shred down. It's like, we worry so much. Comparing ourselves to others, compare yourself to yourself from the past and beat. Yeah, well what I have to say is, for me, personally, and my experience, it's just always trying to be better than I was yesterday. And if I'm gonna do a photo shoot, that is for me to promote the services that I have and my business. And yeah, I've had some things like 
cement nutrition had happened which affected his physique in a bit of a negative way and it wasn't as optimal as it was for him I would feel the same as well it's completely understandable and it's completely okay that he felt that way him up take his lunch money I don't know I was there with it same mindset it's like although I didn't go professional level I wasn't getting photo shoots but I felt the need to progress and show my body I'm doing all these poses in the mirror and it's like now I just I don't give a shit even though my body's better you can see the before and after I was flabbier as a vegan didn't have as much muscle had more body fat and the bloated stomach you couldn't suck that thing in if you tried yeah and looking at these before and after photos that is a typical look with the vegan body that he's got that's showing that he's got an excess of estrogen known as estrogen dominance and low levels of testosterone production because what happens when that occurs is it's harder to gain muscle you lose muscle mass you put on more water weight and you put on more body fat as well so yeah it's a very typical look of someone that has that issues well those issues even so yeah and just the look in my face on the vegan diet it's like am i good enough guys am i am i strong yet whereas the meat eater look is just like i'm strong i don't give a shit though what are you gonna do about it i'll crush you i'll rip your limbs off right now so i ain't trying to knock anybody i'm glad simnet is getting super strong and promoting plant-based i support his message 100 percent most people thrive on the vegan diet you're not gonna see me bashing veganism i'll probably do a couple anti-vegan tirades but for the most part i'm gonna be balanced about it i realize that many people thrive it's just that healing of the gut just was taking me so long i experienced many benefits but it was never totality it was always something got better and then many things got worse so Yes, it's completely understandable that he is trying out this carnivorous kind of diet after being on a vegan diet for around 10 years and trying all different types of vegan diet and it's not working for him. And like I said, for me, I had the choice, well, I've said this in other videos before on my other YouTube channel and the response videos are made to vegetable police. I've had the choice when I ran into nutritional deficiencies and messed up my hormones and neurotransmitter production, either go back to eating meat and other animal-based foods or take the right supplements and learn from the right people to actually correct the nutritional deficiencies effectively because a lot of people take supplements and they don't work with an expert and they just learn the information themselves and they don't get the right supplements in the right dosages and a broad spectrum of all the different ones and the right ones they need to actually resolve the deficiencies and correct the underlying issues and yeah just before that he was saying that yeah a lot of them feel they need to build this physique to like show it off to people but for me with conscious calisthenics my body is my brand so yeah I want to have the best looking physique possible so I can draw people in and share the valuable information that I have to share with them and the services and other things that could benefit them in a very positive and profound way like they have for me and many other people that I've helped and coached around the world I don't know if John Venus if you're watching this post down below what is your motivation to work out Simnet, post it down below. I want to hear from you guys. Brian Turner, all great guys. I have nothing bad to say about these guys. So he's asking certain YouTubers, what is your motivation? And I say another motivation for me is it just makes me feel absolutely amazing doing calisthenics and bodybuilding. And it's shown through scientific research to help optimize testosterone and dopamine production. And you get even greater benefits when doing that in an intermittent fasting state like I do every single time I train. Vegan gains. He's afraid to show his body now. There's a fear of judgment, a fear of trying, I think. He's afraid to try and show. I know that feeling. Yeah, and that's just people wanting to stay in their comfort zone and not have emotional triggers come up in them and actually work on them because a lot of people don't understand how to work on them and benefit from them. They don't have a positive mindset to those things coming up in them to actually make them become the greatest, most truest, authentic version of themselves. A lot of people just want to stay in that comfort zone. But yeah, that is where the least growth happens. I see it. I see it because I know it deep in my heart. But at least he's not like obsessively showing it all the time, possibly because he has nothing to show. He's a flabby man boy. You saw how cut he was in that video I showed, and now it's like these just fatty arms.
fatty arms. I'll eat them. They're seventy percent fat. <laughs> it's my macros nice. I was watching one of Three Ridges ex vegan videos, and the woman pointed this out. She was like, "And I noticed just the vegan community. They're so obsessed with their looks. It was disgusting." And again, that is just someone's personal opinion projecting on to the vegans. That isn't necessarily true. It's like having an experience with one person that's really bad and then saying all humans are bad. That is completely like a low level sort of consciousness thought process to go through. It's very, very limited. And it's like, yeah, there are people like that in the vegan movement, but then there's a lot that aren't. Like myself, I don't care what other people think about my body. I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone else. I love myself completely even when I was a skinny, weak looking vegan that just cycled and run all the time and I wasn't unhappy with my body whatsoever. So yeah, I disagree with that fully. And I had to look at myself and I was like, yeah, kind of, a little bit, a little bit. It's not just vegans though, but I noticed it and I feel it less, although I do want to show off my body still. I'm proud of my body and I want to look strong, but it's not why I work out. If you're asking me why I work out, it's kind of weird. I just want to beat my records and progress through that convict conditioning stage, which is now monkey strength, completely different and better. This is really good that he's doing it for that reason he's just mentioned. But yeah, as well, with that woman saying that and what he just said as well, there's also non-vegans that are like that. I know of so many more non-vegans in the YouTube and social media online presence that eat meat and all other animal foods that are really, really, really obsessed. And I see a lot of meat eaters in the gym that are as well. And a lot of people are just doing it for status or for their ego or because they're not got very high self-esteem and confidence levels within. They're not really working on themselves inwardly. And they're trying to make up with it by having the physique that they have and showing it off to people and getting the acceptance that they want from people because they don't necessarily accept themselves fully. Copyright pending. They're getting lychees. See, people use tools to get fruit. Just like meat eaters need tools to get their meat, you need tools to get your fruit. There's nothing wrong with being a human being. Oh. I'm beating all my records easily though. Today, I beat the Daredevil chin-ups finally. Two sets of 20. So we got that, we're moving on to the Archer Negatives. The Archer Negative. You pull yourself up and then you, you go to one side and you let yourself down. You're supposed to let go a little bit with the other hand, but I'm scared to do it. I'm too scared to do it, so I just, I do what I gotta do in life to survive. And we do that. The push-ups, I'm, I'm so close. I'm so close to two sets of 20 of those anchor push-ups. Those are deadly. I can't wait to move on, then I'll be a monkey. I'll be a monkey doing one-armed push-ups, finally. Can you squeeze out that last rep, fueled by cow's blood and horse urine? The half handstand push-up, we beat that. We're moving on. He graduated onto the full handstand push-up. Head all the way to the floor this time. You might as well smash your head into it because you don't use it anymore. You eat animals now. <laughs> you obviously don't think clearly anymore. It's unfortunate, but whatever. As long as your muscles benefit. You're selfish. You're selfish. We moved on to the free fall bridge to a couch. It's the free fall safety bridge. We're not quite all the way to the floor, but we use the couch. So I've built up enough self-esteem to attempt that one, but we're doing that. So you name the exercise and we're getting stronger in it. And it's exciting times here at the Vegetable Police Network. So I'm really, really happy for him that he's noticing that he has a much more strength than he did before. And that he's improving with his fitness because he really enjoys it and he wants to challenge himself. And he is his own competition. So yeah, this is really good to hear. So I think that's about it. I don't really know what the purpose of this video was other than to show my new body. That's all it was. <laughs> that's all we're doing here. But just to say I'm stronger, better looking, and I don't give a shit. So more confidence. Could be the testosterone boost. I don't know. 
Yes, it is the testosterone boost for sure, which I've mentioned earlier. It just makes you feel like such more of an alpha male, so alive, so vibrant. Like you can just take life by storm and achieve anything in life. But feeling good, feeling good. So thanks for watching the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you work out so you can beat your grandmother up. <laughs> You're tired of her taking your lunch money. I hear you. You gotta eat. So yeah, that's it for this response video. If you have any comments, criticisms, or opinions down below, anything that he had to say or I had to say, leave them down below as always. Don't forget to like if you like the video. Don't forget to share with other people if you think there's anyone that you know would love to watch this really cool, amazing response video that I made today towards Vegetal Police on his video called Vegan YouTube for the Animals or the Vanity. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive a lot more videos from me on an everyday basis. And I've got a lot more response videos coming on this channel and loads of other fitness videos as well, and calisthenics videos, intermittent fasting videos, what I eat in a day and what I do in a day videos, and all other different types of videos as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when a new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.